The following video clip has been produced to show how the Human Factors Analysis and Classification System Diving HVAC-D, model has been developed and the factors which it covers. The model is based on work completed by James Reason with his Swiss cheese causality model and Chappelle and Weigmann with their original HVAC model. The original HVAC model was developed after analysing hundreds of US Navy and Marine Corps aviation accidents to develop themes and categories and try and understand why incidents and accidents were occurring. The HVAC diving model was developed in a slightly different manner due to the lack of detail in current incident reports but has been validated through subject matter expert engagement. The model covers three main areas, the factors affecting the individual, the role of the supervisor and the influence of organisations on the individual when undertaking their dives. The specific survey is only focusing on the individual factors and as such the other two areas will not be covered in this video or this survey. At the individual level there are factors, actions and inactions which the diver does which sets them up for the fall. These are known as latent factors. Then there are those final actions which in effect are the straw that breaks the camel's back and completes the incident chain. These are known as the active failures or active factors. Within the active layer of a traditional HVAC model there are errors and violations. But as we don't have formal rules and intent is very difficult to prove, violations have been removed from the HVAC-D model. Errors are then split into four main groups. Perception errors, decision errors, skill-based in water and pre-dive errors, and rule-based errors. These are then further broken down to an additional level of detail and you will see this when you complete the survey. In the latent section of the model there are four groups of factors condition of divers, personnel factors, personal readiness and environmental factors. As we expand each one of these you can see there are more groups of factors underneath and again when you complete the survey you will see this additional level of granularity. This video was put together to show how the HVAC-D model has been developed so that when you take the survey you have a better understanding of how the model is constructed and those factors which may be relevant to your dive. Thank you for your time.